Adding automation within Bitwig is super simple, so let's take a minute to give that a look. We'll come up to our track header and click on the hamburger button to open up our automation lane. Let's click on the parameter we'd like to automate. I'd like to automate the filter cutoff. So now the field has changed to show our filter. I'll click to add a point. Click here to add a point. Let's drag that up. And now, our automation has been added. Now we could also press three on our QWERTY keyboard to access the pen tool. And in this way, we can add automation with that. Let's press one for the arrow tool. And to remove our points, we can just be sure that they are highlighted in black and remove those out. Alternatively, we can remove the entire track by clicking on the X here. Now, what if you'd like to add automation with an external controller? Well, what we could do is right click on the parameter, map to controller key. I'll turn a knob on my external controller. I now have control of the filter cutoff. So let's activate the right arranger automation. Press play. Press the space bar to stop. Now when we click on the drop down menu, we can see our cutoff frequency. And if we have multiple lanes of automation that we've added, we can click on this button to show all lanes. We also have the option to click on the drop down menu here. And then here we can see all of the different parameters for our polymer, the convolution reverb that's in our device panel, and the mixer. Everything here we can select and add for automation as well.